Hey everyone, welcome back to another native script video. My name is Mehul, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at what is code behind file in native script, what it means, what it does, so on and so forth. So it's been a long journey setting up native script and you know getting started with it. And if you still face any problem, do let me know in the comments. I'll try to help you out. But for those of you who have set up native script correctly and are you are able to see output like hello world or something. Let's get into it. So as I told in the last video, what a code behind file is basically for your UI where the logic goes. The logic resides inside the same file, but with a .js extension. Now remember, there are a lot of ways to work with native script. You could go and go off with vanilla JavaScript. You could choose TypeScript. You could go with frameworks like Angular, Vue, stuff like that. So we're just gonna go with JavaScript for now. We're gonna take a look at frameworks and stuff later on, right? So for JavaScript one, what a code behind file is the same file as of XML, the same name, but with a .js extension. Now what native script does behind the scenes is something pretty awesome. So whatever you export from this, this file, let's say you export a function, my function, right? Whatever this function is, this function is automatically made available to your UI for certain events. For example, let's say you want to you want something to happen when you tap on this but on this label, right? Or maybe on a button. So you're gonna create a function inside your um, code behind file. You're gonna export it like this, and you're gonna set that right here with the event handler. That's it. So behind the scenes, native script would take care that those things are automatically linked. Another thing is a binding context. So to make a one-way binding or a two-way binding, what you have to do is actually create a binding context. Now let me just show you what I mean by that. Before that, what we're gonna do is add a navigating to event handler. Again, this is a event handler. We're gonna discuss these later on, but what I want navigating to event handler to fire is um, let's say my function only which we created right so this event handler just to give you a heads up just fires whenever you're about to arrive on this particular page right so I'm adding navigating to and give it in giving it a value of my function so this event handler would execute this function once this page loads you can think of it as loads but it's not really um, you know, it's not does not really fire when the page loads. It fires a little bit earlier than that. So we're gonna create my function. What it does is that it passes you an args object, args object, right, which contains the reference to this particular page as args dot object. Now this is something you have to bear with me because this is all syntax and stuff and how native script is built, right? So once you do an args.object, you get a reference to this particular page. Now I said that we need to set a binding context. Now binding context gives you a feeling of like a one-way binding or a two-way binding. One-way binding is basically when you update your logic and your UI updates, updates itself, but not the other way around. Or maybe like one-way binding could be from UI to your logic as well. But a two-way binding is a truly bind, um, Thing you can say which you know if the logic changes UI updates or the UI changes logic updates but for now what I'm gonna do is just do a simple one way binding and I'm gonna say binding context is now this is an object which um, expects you to give key value pairs and what these key value pairs would do is actually create variables for you to use on your XML UI well what the hell does that mean so we see that if i create a message variable and just say hello world from javascript right and hit save now what we have done here is i'm just going to go through real quick once we arrive at this page navigating to is going to fire this my function which um, native script knows because we have exported it from our code behind file and then we are creating a binding context for this particular page, which allows us 
to set an object with a key message which would be available as a variable here and its value is hello world from javascript so how do we use this um, binding context we simply do these two curly braces and within these we write the name of our key in our case this is message right and hit save and what we should see is you can see on the right it reflects the change hello world from javascript it is again just to go it go through it th go over through it one more time what we have done our xml file has a code behind file we have exported a function called my function which fires when navigating to event is which which is fired by navigating to event handler this function sets a binding context to our page which we get from args.object this is just syntax you have to remember that page.binding context is an object containing a message key which then we can use as a variable inside our layout now you see that what happens is this is a one way binding and how how do i prove that is basically if i set a set timer here and let's say i change the binding context to maybe like message is something else now right and uh, what i do is just do it after two seconds what we should pretty much see that it changes to something else now inside the ui and actually we can just verify that by just saving it one more time so that you know now this is hello world from javascript and then after two seconds it's something else now but this is again one way binding we are changing the logic which eventually changes our ui if i'm somehow able to change this from the ui it would not be reflected inside this particular object so we're going to see different types of binding data binding how to implement that later on but i think this should give you a rough idea of how native script is working overall so that's all for this video if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe leave a like and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one